All right, guys. How's it going? Coach Jim here. I am leading this stretch core slash core workout for you today. We have a lot of athletes who aren't able to get in the pool right now because of COVID restrictions, lane, avail lane avail availability restrictions. So let's, uh, let's throw in some stretch core workouts, some core workouts, so you get your swim-specific strength training. So this workout, like I said, is using stretch cords. It's using core. So you want to have your stretch cords set up on something sturdy so they're not going to break off and hit you in the head. So let's make sure it's wrapped around something sturdy. If you guys can hear me all right, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Everybody hear me? All right, beautiful. Okay, so make sure your stretch cords are wrapped around something sturdy. Make sure you have room around you so we can go from stretch cords to core workout and back and forth. Because what we're going to do is supersets. We're going to go from stretch cords to core to stretch cords to core. So I'll lay out what the super what the set is before we start, and then I will um, we'll get into it and I'll lead you through it. Everything we're doing is time based, so it's not 30 repetitions. It's going to be 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, a minute, and then I'll specify the rest in between each of those. Also, we are based on effort as well. So I might say 30 seconds at 60% effort. It's just like in the pool, 60, 70, 80, 90, and max effort, 100%. So let's make sure we start easy so we have room to climb the ladder as we go. So 60, 70, 80, 90, max effort, 60% is easy, and we go up from there. So don't take it out too strong because some of these longer time interval, you're not going to make it through the two minutes with these stretch cords if you start too strong. If you take your time building into it, as I specify, you will... Uh, you'll get through the sets. Also remember, we're in the alignment phase of training, so we're gonna keep that focus as we go through this. So through these stretch cords workouts. So remember, you want your nose straight down, your head nice and stable. Let's do, a, let's do a practice stretch cord real quick. You're gonna set up your stretch cords, get good tension on the bands. You don't want any slack in those bands. Start the elbow up, fingertips straight down, elbows up, nose pointed straight down as, as you pull through. Keep your hands right under your shoulders, just like the alignment phase we're talking about. Pull all the way through. So your hands are facing behind you, your triceps are engaged, and your palms are facing away from you. So that's one repetition. So that's how we're gonna conduct our repetitions. We'll do a certain amount of repetitions, then we'll go into our core work on the ground. So if you guys get your stretch cords right away, let's get your stretch cords, let's get our warm up in. We're gonna go 30 seconds, nice and easy on your stretch cords, followed by, you're gonna lay down and you're gonna do 30 seconds of bicycle crunches. So same thing, knees straight up, hold your ears opposite elbow to opposite knee. And we're gonna switch off between those at a nice easy effort for each. So let's get your stretch cords set up. We're gonna go 30 seconds, 60% effort, nice and easy on your stretch cords to get warmed up. All right, so let's start your repetitions in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. 30 seconds, nice and easy. Nose pointed straight down. Hands stay under the shoulders, elbows stay high. And pull your hands all the way through you so your palm is facing behind you as you pull through. Remember, we want to be able to climb the ladder, so don't take it out too strong. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, drop your stretch cords. Let's lay down on the ground. Everybody down. And now we're going to, you want to hold your ears. You don't want to yank on your neck on these. Nice and slow and relaxed, just bicycle crunch. Opposite elbow to opposite knee, 30 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's begin. Keep it nice and relaxed. Don't think you need to go too fast. Good, halfway there, 15 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, everybody on your feet. We're going to keep you moving during this, guys. I hope you brought your water. Let's grab your stretch cords again. 
We'll get set up. We're going to do 30 seconds again, 60% effort. Remember, we're just warming up. I don't want you to go too strong. Just nice and relaxed. Let's start in three, two, one. 30 seconds. Keep it relaxed and slow. Not a hard stroke, as Jerry says, right? Get the elbow up in the front. Pull it all the way through. Nose pointed straight down. Good. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. All right. Back on your back. Back to 30 seconds of bicycle crunches. Give you guys plenty of time to get down there. Good. Let's start it off in... Five seconds, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds, keep it relaxed. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Try and straighten those legs out. Point your toe every time you straight, st straighten the leg. <laughs> Halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. On your feet, one more round. Still warming up. Grab your stretch cords. Okay, one more round, 30 seconds. Keep it at 60%, not a hard stroke. Nose pointed straight down. Hands stay under the shoulders. Pull all the way through so you feel it in your triceps. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Let's go, 60% effort. Pull your shoulders back, pinch your scapula together as you pull through to engage those lats. Halfway. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. And get on your back one more time, your bicycle crunches for 30 seconds. All right, everybody down. Let's start in five seconds. Three, two, one. Control it. Try and keep that lower back on the ground. Don't let it arch up. No reason to go fast here. Control it. Keep those knees in alignment. Halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. And on your feet. Very nice. All right, get a drink. Shake it out a little bit, relax those shoulders. All right, we're gonna continue the second part of warm up. While you guys are getting a drink, I'll show you what it is. So you're gonna grab both of your stretch cords. So you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna extend your arms in your setup position, and you're gonna, re, you're gonna do 10 repeats with one hand, with one arm, right? Elbow high, fingertips pointed down, nose pointed down. After, sorry, 10 seconds with one arm. Then you're gonna switch off after 10 to the other arm. So alone. And we're gonna repeat that for one minute. One minute straight, switching off arms every 10 seconds. Everybody with me? So let's grab your stretch cords. Everybody set themselves up. Get those arms extended in front, fingertips pointed down. You're gonna start with your right arm. Don't start yet, I'll tell you when to start. Start with your right arm only, 10 seconds. You're gonna do only right arm. You're gonna keep the effort same, 60, 65%. Nice and easy, I just want you to get warmed up. Keep that hand under the shoulder, pull all the way through. Are we ready? Let's go, four, three, two, one. 10 seconds, right arm only. Elbow high, 
engage that lat, pull it all the way through. Switch to your left arm, go, left arm only. Three, two, one, right arm only. Keep your nose down. Two, one, left arm only. Nose pointed down, fingertips pointed down, pull all the way through. Right arm only. Three, two, one, left arm only. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. So we warmed up those arms. Good. You can stay on your uh, stretch cords. I'll demonstrate what we're doing next while you keep your stretch cords hooked into your hands. So we're going to do five by one minute on your stretch cords. Every 20 seconds, we're going to increase the pace. So we're going to start out 20 seconds, 60, 60 to 65% effort. 20 seconds, 70 to 75, and the last 20 seconds, upper aerobic, 80 to 85. All right, so that's one minute. 20 easy, 20 moderate, 20 moderate hard. Then we're gonna jump on the ground. We're gonna do a 30 second plank. So you're gonna be on your elbows, nose pointed straight down, bring those hips down. Don't let the hips sit, go way up or sink down. Stable hips. You're gonna hold your plank for 30 seconds. That's one round. We're gonna do five rounds. So it's a minute on the stretch cords, 30 second plank, take a break, five times through. Everybody good? Beautiful. So we'll get our first minute going in 20 seconds. Remember it's 20 seconds easy, 20 seconds moderate, 20 seconds moderate hard. Keep that good form the whole way through. Let's get going in five seconds, four, three, Two, one. So take it out nice and relaxed. Don't overdo it because we won't be able to climb the ladder as we go. Pull it all the way through. Keep the elbow high, engaging those lats. Don't let the shoulder take over. Two, one. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. Bring it up to 70 to 75% effort. Still maintainable. Not blowing yourself out but definitely increase the speed slightly over the last round. Let's pick up the pace one last time, 80, 85%. Definitely a little quicker, nose is pointed straight down. Keep the elbows high and keep pulling all the way through. So that palm faces behind you as you push the water back. Three, two, one, good. All right, put your stretch cords down. Let's get into our plank position. If you can't do this on your toes, you can go to your knees. And let's start our plank here in three, two, one. 30 seconds, nice and stable hips. Push up strong through your shoulders. Keep the hips in line with the knees and the ankles curl your hips under don't let them tip five four three two one beautiful all right get up get a drink Take about 30, 45 seconds between rounds just to get your breath and pick up your stretch cords again. Shake out your arms, release any tension that's building. And we'll get going again in about 20 seconds. So grab your stretch cords. 20 seconds, 60, 65%, 20 seconds, 70, 75, and 20 seconds, 80 to 85. You guys did really well last time. All right, everybody ready? Let's go 10 seconds, we'll get going. 
Remember, we want to climb the ladder, so be conservative to start. Three, two, one. Let's go. 20 seconds, 60%. Point that nose down. Keep your head nice and stable. And keep those hands under the shoulders as you pull through. Alignment phase, remember. All right, let's pick it up. 70 to 75%. A little quicker, but there's still plenty of room to grow. Don't get sloppy. Keep the elbow high, guys. And last 20 seconds. Let's go. Pick it up. 80 to 85. This is your upper aerobic zone. Might feel that heart rate coming up a little bit. 10 seconds. Keep the elbow high, guys. Don't drop the elbow as you come through. Two, one, and relax. We get into our plank for 30 seconds. Everybody down. Let's get going in three, two, one, 30 seconds. Nice and sturdy, keep the hips stable. Strong shoulders, squeeze your butt cheeks together. That'll help engage that core. Halfway there. Suck your belly button to your spine to get that intrinsic core that I'm always talking about. Good for that tautness. Three, two, one. All right, good. Relax, get a drink, shake it out. See my festive, my festive spirit here. I'm gonna start riding it around like that. All right, we'll get going in about 25 seconds. So grab your stretch cords, round three, same thing. Remember guys, while you're getting the rest of your rest, watch this, elbow stays up, watch my elbow. If that elbow comes through and drops, you're using tricep to pull the water. Keep the elbow up and you keep the elbow up all the way through. That engages that lats and helps you keep all of this as your paddle. If you're dropping that elbow, you're using the shoulder and you're pulling with your tricep. Keep the elbow up. Pull it all the way through. All right, let's get going in 10 seconds. Round three. 20 seconds, 60%, 20 seconds, 70, 20 seconds, 80. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Focus on that elbow up. Keep the hand under the shoulders. 60%, you're nice and relaxed. Three, two, one, increase that speed. Still plenty of room to climb. Three, two, one, pick it up, 80, 85%. Moving a little faster. Nose is pointed straight down, spine is neutral. No tilting, lifting, or tucking that head. Two, one, and drop the stretch cords. Into your plank position. Let's plank in 10 seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. Let's go, 30 seconds. If it's too hard on your elbows, you can go into the push-up position to hold the plank in the push-up position. Keep those hips nice and stable. Don't let them sink. Don't let them pump, pop up. Good neutral spine. No sway in your lower back. Curl them under. Five. Three, two, one. Good. Three rounds done.
Very nice. I noticed some good high elbows on that one, guys. That's how you focus on it. So now we're going to go round four. So get your stretch cords ready. We'll go in about 30 seconds. So you got a little time. I want you to be able to move your arms tomorrow. So we'll take a little, little rest in between these rounds. All right, let's keep going to 10 seconds. 20 repetitions at 60%. Keep it relaxed. Elbows up. Two, one. Let's go. Hands under your shoulders. Nose is pointed straight down. Feel that tricep engage as you push that water behind you with that flat pound. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. 70, 75% effort. You feel it in the shoulders, get those elbows higher. Last 20, let's pick it up, come on. 80, 85%. Keep the form good. If you have to slow down, let's keep your form, slow down. Three, two, one. Good. Get in our plank position. Start a plank in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds. Nice and stable, nice and sturdy. Good tabletop with that back. Point your nose straight down. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Take a break. Get a drink. Believe me, Coach J Coach Tim and Coach Jerry's workouts are nothing compared to this baby. <laughs> you guys don't even want to go in the water after this workout. You don't want to just come to this workout. Try and do this a few times a week. All right, last round, round five. Sorry, I keep looking down. I'm used to looking at the computer when I talk on Zoom, not for the external camera. So if you're watching this on YouTube later, that's why. All right, so we have a minute, 20 second builds, last round. Let's get going here in 15 seconds. So keep it loose, shake it out. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice and relaxed to start. Keep the form perfect. Elbows up all the way through, nice sturdy wrist. Don't let that wrist break. Fingertips pointed straight down. Pulling the water all the way through. Let's up the effort to one. 70, 75%, a little quicker in that effort. Nose straight down. Three, two, one, all right, finish it off. Let's go, last 20. 80, 85%, keep the form together. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and drop the stretch cords. Last round of plank. Let's get into our plank in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Let's go, 30 seconds. Nice and sturdy. Push up through your elbows and your shoulders. Keep it nice and sturdy. Good tabletop back. Don't let that butt pop up. Don't let it sink. Keep the hips stable. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Very nice. All right. We're warmed up, right? Yeah. All right. So we're going to take a break here. Next round, just while you guys are taking a break, getting a drink, we're going to do our stretch cords, which I'll tell you about in a second, but we're going to do dead bugs. Same with the alignment phase. We're keeping everything in that sagittal plane as we do these, do these exercises. So dead bugs, hands are straight up, knees 90 degrees, opposite arm, opposite leg, extend, back. Opposite arm, opposite leg, extend, back. You gotta keep your lower back pressed on the floor and control the movement, opposite arm, opposite, arm, opposite leg, Control the movement. It's not fast, it's control. Head is down, lower back is pressed into the floor. So that's a dead bug, because you're a dead bug on your back. You get it? <laughs> I think we get it. All right, so what we're gonna do on the stretch cord front, 90 seconds, three by 90 seconds. The entire way is 65 to 70%. So it's on the more relaxed side. We're thinking about how we're pulling, keeping that elbow up, hand under the shoulder, pull it all the way through. So we're not going super fast. It's more of an endurance set. So it's three by 90 seconds between each one. We have 30 seconds of dead bugs. All right, everybody got it? So let's get going with our first 90 second stretch cord effort at 65 to 70%. 90 seconds. We're going to get going in 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Keep it relaxed and keep it all together stroke wise. Three, two, one. Let's go. 90 seconds. Feel it out. Don't take it out too strong. Think about how you're moving and staying in alignment. Head is right centered on the body, nice and stable and still. Hands are traveling under your shoulders. Back is flat. And you're pulling that water all the way through, pressing it behind you, extending those triceps as you do. 30 seconds in. If you need to slow down and keep the stroke together, do it. Pinch that scapula together behind you. That'll help you engage those lats. Thirty seconds to go. Slow it down if you have to. Don't have to win any races in this. Building our muscular endurance. Do it correctly. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two. One, good. All right, everybody on your back. So remember the dead bug, opposite arm, opposite leg, extend your arms, extend that opposite leg, touch the floor, return to the start position. So let's get your hands and knees up. We'll start in 10 seconds. 30 seconds of dead bugs, opposite arm, opposite leg. In five, four, three, two, one, head on the floor, lower back on the floor. Don't let that lower back pop up. Control it with an intrinsic core, suck your belly button to the spine. 10 seconds. Five, 
Three, two, one. Good. All right, on your feet, let's take a minute break, get a drink. It'd be really fun to do this as a bike workout. Get off to your stretch cords, back on the bike, do some sprints. Ha ha, ha 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 ha. I'm always thinking. All right, so our second 90 second effort will start in 30 seconds. We're doing three of these. Going at your pace. We're not winning any races here. 15 seconds will start. 10. Five, four, three, two, one. You're bent at the waist. Lower, your back is nice and flat. Neutral spine. Head is coming off that spine with that nice center axis point. No tilting, tucking, or lifting that head. Nose is pointed straight down. You got that 65%, 70% maintainable effort. Keep it relaxed. Keep the elbow up. Engage those lats to power the stroke. Fingers, tips stay pointed down. Nose stays pointed down. Make sure you're bent over at the hips. We're halfway through. Good, 30 seconds. Slow it down if you have to. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Good, drop them on your back. Dead bugs. Start in 15 seconds. 10 seconds. All right, 30 seconds of dead, dead bugs in three, two, one. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Control it. It's not about speed, it's about control with that core. Good, halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. One more round, take a break, one minute break. Get a drink. This is great guys, make sure you shake it out. Need to throw uh, some lat stretching in there, stretch it out between sets, do it. Just keep it loose, shake those arms out. Make sure you release any tension. As we get fatigued, you get tired, that tension starts to build and we start using those traps to, to pull the, the stretch cords. We don't wanna engage those traps. We always wanna drop the shoulders, relax, get the elbows up to drive those hands through and keep the lats engaged. Let's grab your stretch cords. We'll start in 20 seconds, our last 90 second effort. So drop your shoulders. Let's get set up. Taking out at your pace, maintainable in three, two, one, 90 seconds. Not about speed. Control it. Back is nice and flat. You're bent over at the hips. 
Suck the belly button in. Keep that core engaged. Nose pointed straight down. Hands under the shoulders. Complete every stroke. 30 seconds in. Thirty seconds to go. Keep it together. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. And relax. On your back, last round of dead bugs. Let's get going in 10 seconds. 30 seconds of dead, dead bugs in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Control it. Not about speed, it's about control. Keep the arms aligned with the knees. Don't let anything cross over the center line. Ten seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one, good. Relax, get a minute, minute break. I'll tell you what we're doing next. All right, so next round, I know you don't wanna hear this. Two by two minutes. Every 30 seconds we climb the ladder. So I don't care if you're starting extremely slow in that first 30 seconds. Next 30 seconds, a little faster. Next 30 seconds, a little faster. Next 30 seconds, a little faster. But go off of you, your fatigue level, how you're feeling. In between each, we'll get on our back, hands under our butt, extend your legs, and we have 30 seconds, point your toes, scissor kicks. All right, 30 seconds, small scissor kicks. Keep your head off the ground, lower back pressed into the mat. And we have 30 seconds of scissor kicks in between each two minute stretch cord pull. So take a little break. We'll start in about 40 seconds. So shake it out, do a little stretching those lats if you need to. Stretch the ham, the triceps, shake the body out. We'll get going in 30 seconds, two by two minutes with the scissor, 30 second scissor kick in between each. Keep the elbows high, perfect execution. Like I said, I'm saying the whole time, it's not about speed, it's about how you're executing. So start it super slow and build as we go. Let's get going in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds at 60%. Perfect execution, nose pointed straight down. Head right off that spine, no tilting, lifting, or tucking of the head. Hands stay right under the shoulders as you pull it all the way through. All right, let's increase the speed slightly in three, two, one, a little faster, just slightly. Doesn't have to break any speed records. So a little more speed in the stroke, a little more power with those lats, pulling the stroke through. Keep the, hand, the fingertips pointed down. Let's increase the speed slightly again, up to 80%. Two, one, pick it up, slightly faster. 
faster within your ability and your fatigue level. I want you getting through the two minutes as opposed to topping out early. So if you gotta back it off to get through it, back it off. For those of you still amping it up, three, two, one, let's get faster again. Last 30 seconds. Twenty. Slow it down if you have to, but get through it and keep those elbows high. Rely on the lats. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Good. All right, I'm back. Hands under your butt, head off the ground, toes pointed, legs straight out, 30 seconds of scissor kicks, small scissor kicks. Let's kick it off in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Doesn't have to be fast, control it. Suck your belly button in. If you need to make the scissors bigger, do that. If your lower back hurts, you can switch to more of a march. That's marching if your lower back hurts at all. For the rest of us, keep the scissor kick. Three, two, one, and relax. On your feet, we got one more two minute effort. Take a break. All right, let's grab your stretch cords. We'll get going in about 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. We'll finish our last two-minute effort. We we'll get faster every twenty, every thirty seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Control it, guys. Control it. <clears throat> Pretty fatigued by now. Just keep it together. Go at your own pace. Three, two, one. Let's pick up the effort slightly. Very nice. Stick with it, guys. Keep the elbow up. Keep that wrist nice and firm. Don't let that wrist break. Keep those fingertips. Point it down, pick up the effort, two, one, a little faster. Pull it all the way through. Last 30 seconds, pick it up, 30 to go, come on. Twenty. Ten. Three. 
Three, two, one. Very nice. Last round of scissor kicks on your back. Thirty seconds. Remember, if you can't do the scissor kicks, you're marching, controlling from that intrinsic core, lifting from that core. Everybody else, straighten those legs, point your toes. Four, three, two, one. Suck the belly button in, lower back's on the ground, pressed into the ground, don't let it arch. Kick from the hip, just like we're kicking in the pool. Halfway. Three, two, one, good. All right, guys, very nice. Everybody on your feet. All right, good job on that. That's our stretch cord workout. It's about 47 minutes. Let's do a little stretch real quick. Just to loosen it up. Let's shake your arms out, drop your shoulders, grab your elbow over your head, pull it back. So you're stretching here and you're stretching that lat. Pull that, el that elbow back. Try and reach your hand down your spine. Here. Head stays as neutral as possible. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Let's go left arm or other arm, opposite arm over your head. Pull that elbow back. Don't yank it, it's just a nice pull. Reach that hand down the spine as far as you can. Stretch that lat, that tricep, but don't overextend it. I don't want you to yank it out of, out of place. Just a nice light stretch. Five seconds. Three, two, one, shake it out. All right, next we're gonna take our right arm, cross it over, stretch out that deltoid. Right arm over the front, stretch it with the left arm up in front and feel that deltoid stretch. Don't yank it too hard, just feel that nice light stretch in the delt. Five, four, three, two, one, shake it out. Other side. And begin, pull it. You feel that good stretch in the shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, shake it out. All right, we stretch our traps a little bit. So your hand stays flat. This opposite hand stays flat. You take your head, night, you don't yank it. It's nice light stretch to the, to the opposite side. You're stretching the side that this, the palm is straight down. So you're straight to the shoulder, ear to the shoulder. Now grab the back of your head and just change the angle slightly so you have more 45 degrees. You're feeling in the back of the trap here, back of the neck. Don't yank on it. I don't want neck problems. You're not yanking too hard. It's just a light stretch. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Bring that ear to the shoulder. Opposite hands flat. Nice light stretch in that trap. Those neck muscles that tighten up so much. And let's bring it over to 45 degree angle. Hand stays flat on the opposite side, feeling the back of that trap. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, very nice guys. Awesome work.
I'm going to put this up on YouTube. So if the next live one is not available yet, by the next time you might miss a swim or you need a workout, this will be up on the Tower 26 YouTube page. For all you triathletes, I'll put it into the Training, Pe the Training Peaks calendar. I think Coach Megan's going to send out a link for the YouTube link once I get it up. So there's plenty of options to follow along. If you have to miss another swim, if you can't get into your pool, there's no lane avail availability. But thanks for joining, guys. Hope you had a great workout. Make sure you stay on that foam rolling, stretching. You're going to be pretty sore tomorrow, but don't that let, let that deter you. Your body will adapt and you become stronger than ever. So let's stay on this. Uh, so if you can't get the pool, this is a great alter alternative. And, you know, you're going to be more sore from this than you are in the pool because we're specifically working those, those muscles. So awesome work, guys. See you next time. Keep it up. We'll see you on the bike tomorrow if you're joining. Run on Wednesday, then bikes on Thursday. So see you guys soon. Later. Thanks, Coach. Hey. Good workout. That was great. Thanks, Jim.